Good afternoon, everyone. Um, yeah, I'd like to start by thanking Tom O'Callaghan and the IHE team for inviting Houghton Mifflin Harcourt to support you know, the important work that's being done by everybody in this room. Um, by way of background, Houghton Mifflin Harcourt is a global provider of education products and services to children. The age group we focus on is between about four to five year olds to 18 year olds. So the primary and secondary school education market is our focus. You know, digital media di and mobile media is you know, changing the way we, cons we learn and consume information, you know, from on-demand learning 24-7, uh, anytime, you know, any place, and personalized. So when we look at the overall, you know, opportunity of the ubiquity now of mobile devices and connectivity, it's not just health education you know, that we look at as the opportunity, but, you know, nearer and dearer to our hearts is actually, you know, education, primary and secondary education. You know, if we imagine for a minute the possibilities of a world you know, with mobile ubiquity and connectivity. Just imagine the possibilities of learning. So you might live you know, in a slum or a shanty town or a rural community or a city, but the same learning can be available to you and accessible by you. If the vision we have around mobile learning and ubiquity and connectivity uh, is delivered on. Um, so I just imagine as well the possibilities as similar to healthcare there's a shortage of teachers globally. You know, there's a statistic right now for India that if we continue to deliver education the way we are, it will take 100 years to educate the whole population. So just imagine the possibilities when we start to deliver this learning mobily. So when we look to then, you know, the dynamics you know, between like in the healthcare uh, industry and education, some of them are quite, you know, they're similar. And so our goal is to really learn and share together in this partnership that we have with IHEAT as we progress along this path of mobile education and mobile education for all. So this, as you can see, for Houghton Miff and Harcourt is a big passion and area of interest and focus for us. And what I'm going to do for the next few minutes is share with you a study, you know, one, one of many studies that's going on right now, but a very recent study that Houghton Mifflin, um, Harcourt, and IHEAT have done in partnership together. Um, just to, uh, I'll just bring up a few slides here. Okay. Okay. So, ready? Sorry, the slides aren't moving. Sorry. Um, we're going to, I am going to show you um, a video in a second, uh, but first of all, I just want to give you some background to um, the study that we did. The goal and the focus of the study, the question we were asking is, can we use a mobile delivery to train uh, community health workers? The study's in Tanzania, we focused on, on the country of Tanzania. Can we use mobile delivery to deliver that training? And if so, you know, what's the best approach to do that? Uh, we did focus across five different locations in doing this study in Tanzania, you know, representative city, slums, small towns, shanty towns, villages. We worked with over 60 community health workers and we delivered the learning through an interactive application which was on a five-year-old Nokia um, to just bring the experience to life. Um, the um, first thing we did when we arrived in DAR was to actually localize the uh, content. The content itself was focused on pregnancy education uh, and we created that content locally obviously in the local language and it's a mix, we used a mix so that we could test the different response to the media types, audio, text, picture, video, SMS, etc. So what I'm going to do now is show you a very short video, just two minutes to give you some context and background to the study.
kijani au brown unaweza kumaanisha ya kwamba mtoto yuko Mama mjamzito anayefanya mazoezi anaweza kubadili ukaji wa mtoto katika kipindi cha mwisho cha ujauzito. Mwambie mama mjamzito alale chini akiangalia juu na mtu wa kulalia ukiwa chini ya hips zake. You get a text from this age when that gives you a question. No, it's a couple of jobs. It's a couple of jobs. And if you get the question to right, then you get the certificate. So what I'd like to do now is just uh, highlight some of the key findings that we had from the study. So the areas we looked at were the media form themselves, the way to actually deliver the learning, and the role that community might play in the overall learning process. From a media point of view, what we found was that your dial-up audio was the uh, uh, media of choice given the actual capability of the mobile devices that are, are most common in Tanzania. When we showed video content, there was huge interest in it, but right now today, that's not what's going to be readily consumed. So certainly down the road, but audio, you know, dial-up audio, uh, SMS is the, uh, the primary uh, media type. From a learning point of view, uh, the course structure was uh, the, the uh, overall course structure and the optimal delivery was deemed to be, you know, five or six lessons on a topic, maximum of three to five minutes in length. Um, very interested in the community uh, health workers are hugely interested in ongoing diagnostic, which we can deliver because it's a it's a mobile delivery and it has a assessment underpinning. So ongoing diagnostic and the ability to take an assessment. So to use you know, an SMS-based system to take assessment was very, very important to them. Also, uh, what was very interesting was very important to them was the ability to uh, behave in a community manner with each other. So if community workers could record their own audio describing an experience they had and upload that to a central repository where others could dial in and share in that experience was extremely important to them. And also the ability to use local approaches to communication, you know, storytelling, song, music, very important in the delivery and the design of the overall learning. Another key finding was the desire to have a, cert a certification process, some, some sort of cert certificate or reward, you know, to reward and recognize the learning. What was interesting was, you know, we asked them to rate, you know, the desired uh, reward type. So, you know, free air minutes or a cert. And of course, you know, it was a cert. But as we upped the air minutes, it was still the certification was deemed to be the most important reward. So that was very significant. Also, you know, a key finding we had was the opportunity in this process to build local capacity, to use the local community to help us to create the local content and to maintain the service was a key uh, finding. And also what was interesting for us, again, it's a study, so uh, would need further exploration, was that when we tested, when we did the study, it was, it was a toll-free service we were offering, but we asked and tested, but what if it wasn't free? And the key feedback was that if there was a certification process associated with it, then they would pay for it. That was interesting. We'll obviously need to be studied further, but that was a key finding. And then, you know, the high level summary for us coming out of this was that the, rec the level of motivation to use the service was significant. Uh, the prototype on the phone, uh, the, the um, 
community health workers thought the service was actually up and live. It was actually a prototype. And they were hugely disappointed when they thought they couldn't actually call the toll-free number that day to avail of the service. So it was a real indication of the motivation was really high to use this mobile service. And complete recognition that that was the best and optimal way to do it. And also that media was not the driving factor. The desire to learn, so audio, SMS, whatever uh, vehicle was available, you know, it was the desire to learn was the motivating factor. Yeah, and in conclusion, I'd really like to bring, you know, the words of those community health workers into the room. You know, when we asked them to give us one statement that would summarize for them uh, why this was so important. You know, this is the statement from the words of the community health workers. You know, with a teacher, we can help a few, and with a mobile, we can help many. So thank you all. Look forward to continuing the conversation.